that we're a little bit more familiar with working with Scratch and using some of the different blocks, I want to make uh, the X and Y blocks make a little bit more sense to you. So I'm going to get rid of all of this code here. And I'm actually going to change backgrounds. I believe there is one in here that is actually a X and Y grid, which is perfect. This is exactly what I need. So if you're not familiar with an X and Y grid, that's okay. I'm going to do a little bit to explain these things to you. So before we worry about looking at this grid, I'm going to use the backdrop space to do a little bit of drawing. So if we're talking about math, right, if we're thinking about math, we have a number line. Our number line goes from left to right, and our smaller numbers, so our negative numbers, are over here. Our zero is in the center, and our larger numbers are in this direction. So from zero, we go one, two, three, four, and we go all the way up as many numbers as the number line fits. And then in the opposite direction, so moving left, we actually go below zero, so we go to negative numbers. And to get a negative number, all you have to do is put a minus sign in front of that number because it's one less than zero or four less than zero. Now, what you can do is think of this number line as your x-axis. Our x-axis is always going to be from left to right. And our y-axis is a similar concept, but it goes up and down. And in the same way that the x-axis has zero in the middle and and goes from negative four, negative whatever, to positive numbers, so below zero is less than, above zero is greater. Our y-axis below zero is our negative numbers, so negative four, and above zero would be a positive four. And these are things that are really important when we're working in Scratch because it's how we're going to get any of our characters or our sprites to move around on the screen. If you look down over here, you will see X and Y. I'm going to pull up the X and Y grid now. These numbers that you see actually are telling you where your mouse is hovering over. So right now, my mouse is hovering over x193 and y-159. If you look at this x and y grid, it's showing you that exact, those exact things. It's showing you that for our scratch screen, y goes up to a positive 180 and goes down to a negative 180. x goes up to a positive 240 and down to a negative 240. It also shows you that in the center of the screen, x is 0 and y is 0. So I'm going to try something right now. I'm going to go and program the cat using some of the motion blocks. So I'm just going to say when the sprite is clicked, I want you to glide for one second to x, y. So I'm going to have him glide from x, from where he is now, to x0, y0. So if I click on him, he glides to x0, y0. Now, now that he's at that point, if I were to click on him again, you're not going to see him move. That's because he's already at that location, x0, y0. The x and y coordinates are a spot on your screen. They are not a distance that you're moving. So if you want to make your cat move again, the sort of thing that you would need to do is give him a starting location. So maybe we'll add another event and have when the green flag is clicked, I want my cat to go to a specific X and Y spot. Now we don't want it to be zero, 0 again because that's where he's sitting right now. So why don't we start with him up in the upper right or left hand corner. That gives us, let's put him right here so his head doesn't get cut off. Maybe around here. We'll say x is negative 179, 
which we're getting from over here. So x is negative 180, let's do, let's see, 179, and y is 124. So we're going to put a negative, just that minus sign, 179, and use for y, you're going to type 124. So now if I click on the green flag, the cat goes to that corner. And if I click on the cat, so when the sprite is clicked, he glides to the center. This is a really great tool. I love that Scratch has this um, coordinate grid, is what it is called, built in as a backdrop. Because it really helps you get a better understanding of how our cat can move, or any character can move, across different areas of this screen. So why don't you give it a shot? See what type of movements you can get your sprite to do using this new knowledge about X and Y. Have a great one.